Hello everybody, so tonight I potentially bring you some good or bad news depending on which way you see this. The news is that LCA stock is down today and I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably asking yourselves should you buy the dip because of course some might see this as a start of an opportunity to get in on the stock. So I'm going to be giving my personal opinions on that so if that sounds like a plan please do leave a like and subscribe, it would be appreciated so much so please do it. Right, let's jump straight into this video. So, having a quick look at this one, we can see that LCA stock has actually been moving massively over the past six months, and you guys know that's true. A lot of this is coming from the more recent period, I'm going to say from about this 18th of November onwards, perhaps even the 12th if you count it in this small bump. But yeah, from about the 20th or the 18th, it has been moving very, very quickly. And through each one of these peaks, we have seen dips. Obviously, once that merger did get announced, the price did shoot up. Once it shot up, it did shoot back down, but not to the lows that it was at before. And from that point, it really Really took off. I think this is a very hyped merger which people are happy to get in at but today it looks like we are negative at the stock and that is not necessarily a bad thing but that could indicate that a you know we might we might have a sell-off coming soon or whether it's a small sell-off or a big one I'm going to talk about that in a minute but yeah we could have a sell-off coming and of course that could present an opportunity to buy the stock at a discounted price so as I just foreshadowed you know if a sell-off did happen and this stock did get even lower down in price one could argue that is the best time to get in because with the growth which we are seeing at this stock, if you want to hold it, whether it's either for a long-term trade or a short-term trade, you know, you're not really in the best standing because obviously buying it at a high price or at least at all-time highs, we don't know where this is going to go to and we don't know where it's going to go to on a low point as well. So it could go high, it could go low, we just don't know at that point. But yeah, with this one, well, how it appears to be running out of traction for the next day or so, or at least for the last day or so, this could present a great buying opportunity because, of course, we are red today. We're not very red at all. I think this is going to be a very short dip. I don't think it's going to be very deep either. I think it's going to be one or two more days of selling off at maximum, in my opinion, if not back in the green tomorrow. I think we could definitely be back in the green tomorrow. And I don't think that's a bad thing at all. But, you know, even if we are in the green tomorrow, that means that the price has gone down slightly or at least the price has not inflated as much slightly today. And that is, of course, a great potential opportunity to get in at this stock. So, yeah, look at the decrease in price for today. We're only minus 1.2% ish, you know, around the 1% mark. We are not down that low. And I think that does, in my opinion, represent some strength in the stock. As people are massively selling off, there's not a huge decrease going on. And you can see even from the lows today um, at market open, you know, from that point, it did actually bounce back up as people did buy the stock up and some people were probably just day trading it and then it went down from that point and i think that was where a lot of those people did get out so yeah from there we have been stable and it looks like we have taken a small dip towards the end of the day but like i said this could present a buying opportunity either today or tomorrow when market opens because of course if we are going to be getting this a decreased price as we already are it could potentially be your time to get in looking at this for a long-term perspective like i always say I still think it might be too high, but for a short-term swing trade, I think we are definitely in a better standing to buy this one. But either way, if you are you know, confident to buy this stock at this price, it's still a good point to get in if you think so. But yeah, obviously getting that at this decreased price, which we are seeing today, is good news. So I hope that you did enjoy this update. I hope that you found it useful. If you did, please do leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye until then.